This is a song sung by Bulimbo Ibrahim, also known as Ghetto Apostle, crying out to his fellow youth to embrace peace during the forthcoming elections. It is a message dominating the minds of many Ugandans as the country prepares for general elections in January 2021. Once one time, Madame Agi called us as uh, leaders in Ghetto and introduced us somewhere. We learned something, we realized how important peace is. How good is it to be when you're not violent? So, after learning those things, I was inspired. I could not sleep. I said, how would I pass the message? How could I make it reach everyone? How can everyone understand? And that's why I came up with the song, singing about peace, because when all is done, we stay as a family. We remain brothers, not knowing this was for this, this was for this party. So, it was really a great inspiration. Bolimbo Ibrahim is a reformed ghetto apostle on a mission here in Rusanja to give hope to the ghetto youths who participate in several activities of violence and enduring rejection by the world around them. I've seen very many youths being given fake hope. Uh, I myself was a victim. I've ever worked with the, kind of, with the Walk to Work project and I saw how it, it was. We are given small things at the expense of our life. Most of our brothers are dead, others are imprisoned, just for a little penny to, take, to put in the stomach. And I believe that's not right. Ibrahim is a beneficiary of the Youth for Peace program in Uganda, implemented by UNFPA, Uganda Country Program, through Accord. The project aims at mobilizing and reintegrating youth participation in the promotion of peace and conflict resolution to minimize conflict and promote peace in Kampala, Wakiso, Kasese and Bundibujo. We are working with young people between the age of 14 to 30 years to see that there is peace, uh, in, uh, that we promote peace, we speak peace. We've had several trainings, uh, we've engaged young people um, in the formal sector and the informal sector. Right now, we trained young people here. Uh, we call them the ghetto youth. That was an empowerment to us. Already, some of us, we found that we, we already peace ambassadors, <coughs> but we didn't know how we are, because all along we've been using discipleship as a tool to promote love, unity, and peace. So I shared with my brother, I told them, you know that we are peace ambassadors, but now, We've been empowered with this training so that we can change our communities, we can touch lives, we can move our journey with people, we can spread peace, not hate. Media has strong impact on discourse, on peace processes, and can strengthen or weaken public opinion. A refresher training workshop for journalists is in progress here in Tinda. The workshop is looking at the role of media in conflict resolution and peace building. It is very, very important, the role of um, the media um, when it comes to creating a platform where uh, conflict resolution and mediation can, um, can happen. But they also need to be able to understand what that mandate is. And then they also can be used as catalysts for change in their media houses because we know that we just have representatives. We don't have the whole, all the media houses. We don't have all members of staff. And so in their own way, they should be able to, once they are equipped, they should be able then to be a catalyst of change. Being part of this uh, training today has made me realize that everyone has a role, especially the media. Well, it's been known, uh, it's not, a media is not supposed to have a side or something, but uh, we must come together and work towards uh, creating peace. We need to see a peaceful election come 2021, and that won't happen unless we join efforts, we promote peace communication, and we promote hope in our messages. When you are portraying out a message, of course it has an impact. So you need to outweigh, you need to weigh before you, you air out something on TV. I'm going to air this and such a story, but where shall it end? 
Am I implanting violence, crime, or hate among people, or am I trying to solve the problem? When you youth take these journalists as some of their role models and uh, celebrities, we know that if these journalists use the platform, the big platform they have, for example, the social media platform, the radio platform, uh, the TV prof platform, and when they talk about peace, when they tweet about peace, when they post about peace, we know these youth might like what these people are telling them and then try to run away from conflicts. Training leaders of informal youth groups, including mechanics, border border riders and market vendors, were conducted in the project. These groups of young people are believed to be vulnerable to violence since they are targets to politicians. After the training, Accord distributed to them tools with peace messages to boost dissemination. We never train all the border borders, but we selected the leaders. So this will be helping us to train their trainees. We also are trained uh, aspiring leaders and youth leaders. These aspiring leaders are youth councillors, are youth on uh, LOC, LOC uh, executives. We train them in peace building. And we thought when we train them, they can also help us to preach the gospel of peace to their peers and the communities they come from. We also train youth from youth-led organizations. We know uh, as work statistics, our associations of CBOs, community-based organizations. So we train them so that they also can help to preach the gospel of peace to their peers or in their communities where they come from. Burundi ne munne kwafunanga akavuyo kubana ibaz omwana bamukubi bakoze batya ne tuyumba abakuru na abakuru kati niwe balwana omwana mugamba sorry forgive him forgive her echo nachikola chi ne chigwa ebi bako kutabango mbavu buka utasomesebwa singa bwe daba somesetwa tibaenda kwenyigira mbutabango ko echilala Many people or many youth in the ghetto have too much anger. Why? The society has neglected them. That's in their mind. So you find that <coughs> someone with anger who will be forced to do drugs, he will be forced to do and uh, go and beat someone so that he can have something that he needs because the society, it's been a long time the society has left us behind and yet we are part of the country, we are active citizens and we have potential. Some of these youth lack role models and people can talk to them and you find them engaging in conflict and violence. Youth inclusion in the national development agenda is guaranteed by the constitution of Uganda there are affirmative actions for representation of the youth from sub-county to national levels through the National Youth MPs and National Youth Council. When you need to address challenges being faced by young men and women in this country, you need specifically to engage these young people. Bring them on board. Let them air out these views rather than you having to come out and air out the views for them. In one way or the other, we feel someone is overstepping their mandate in trying to do what is best for us. We know what is best for us. An advocacy campaign to communicate peace at all major road junctions entering Kampala City has been organized by youth in the project. The youths are carrying placards with peace messages to be read by motorists and pedestrians. We are advocating for peace. Most, most especially, we want this message to be broad and we want it to be heard. We want our voices to be heard. 
because due to the due to the reason that most people neglect their youth, so we are trying to bring our voices out in a peaceful way. We hope that the contribution of the Youth for Peace program will increase the participation of the youth in peace building and conflict resolution in Uganda. We need more people like Accord to come and move a journey with us, mentor us, coach us, coach our fellow ghetto guys. Because in the ghettos we have leaders, we have people who are, in, who are influential, people who, whom people they believe in. So let them come and and also so that we, we can be part of the family or the movement of peace. If our brothers are working and if are reached and empowered more, like we reach to them with the gospel of Jesus Christ, like we reach them with these studies of peace with the Yakut, like we work together to see that really we bring up a new life of a ghetto youth, we can promote a free violence ghetto. We are peace ambassadors. We speak peace. We want people to come to us, not to fear us. So we, we, don't want, we don't want to be used. We want to be tools of change in our communities. So we want to see a violence-free Uganda. We want people to accept us the way we are. We can really bring a change in the world. We can really do more than people think we can do. We are greater than the weed they say we smoke. We are greater than the world we they say we drink. Our minds go beyond, but we only need a hand that believeth. A hand that can give us a chance to raise what is in us. Many people don't want to leave their comfort zone to come to the ground. That's the problem. But when they come out and out and reach out to us, they will get to know. They will find out that ah, this one is a good person, though he does this. And asking questions. You know, when you ask questions, many people will give you and they will express themselves. So people need to come to us and leave their zones and come. Young people are not just the future, they are the present. Listen to them, understand them, and work with them as allies. This project is looking at election, after election, and beyond election. So we are calling on youth purposely to be non-violent, to be peacemakers, and also to tell their peers to be peacemakers.